regarding my role in the team, first I'll tell you it's it's to finish games for the team. What whatever number I bat, I batted four, five, six, seven. It's just that to finish the game for the team because I batted middle order. And yes, this year for Chhattisgarh in the white ball circuit, uh, it was really good in the white ball. And a major credit goes to Hitesh Goswami sir because the way he has backed me, the way he has worked on my technique and few mental things. So. Obviously, all thanks to him. Today also in the morning, I called him first to say because uh, the way he supports me back there also and the way he backs me in the team also, it's very uh, credible. So, thanks to him also and uh, obviously by God's grace, I'm batting well this year and I hope to continue this performance for a long time. Yes, like uh, in the morning when I woke up, I felt like, yes, things like I, I did something yesterday. But then uh, till yesterday, till yesterday night, it was very difficult for me to uh, think in those things that uh, I've done something which is uh, like not done too often. But then by God's grace and it was a complete team effort, we did it. We just crossed the line. So... Uh, Talking about the visualization thing, Shikhar Bhai has really helped me a lot in this because the day I joined the camp, he has told me, have told me techniques about how to visualize things also. Because obviously, though I used to visualize it, but then obviously with him, he's an international player. He's someone who's very experienced at this level. So the way he told me a few things were really helpful to me. And till date also, he keeps on telling me just to visualize all good things and about my capability as well. He backs me to a great extent. So yeah, all thanks to him as well. So, uh, yeah, like 15-17, uh, I played for MP, then we went to uh, Bombay. Uh, I was there in the white ball circuit in all the tournaments like Mushtaq Ali, which is where I played good 4-5 years of cricket there in the white ball circuit. But in red ball, I wasn't able to get in the team. And the competition there, the only thing was a competition because the way Shreya Sayar was scoring, Surya was scoring, uh, Shiv Shivam Dubey was there, Abhishek Nair was there, Siddhesh Lard was scoring well that time. So, obviously, at the end of the day, you only get to play 11 there. You cannot play 15, 30 people there. I was scoring heavily in the club cricket also, but couldn't get in the red ball circuit because the players there were doing well. Bombay was winning. So, at some point, you have to realize that uh, practically, you want to see yourself as a first-class player as well. It's just not the white ball cricket. So, that, that time, uh, I spoke to dad also. I spoke to Abhi Kurubela. He was the director at D.Y. Patel, where I used to play. I still play for D.Y. Patel. So, then I discussed with him as well. And then I decided that I have to, I should move back to my home state. That was Chhattisgarh because obviously initially MP Chhattisgarh was the same. Lately, Chhattisgarh got uh, a, a session of themselves. And then I planned that I'll move to Chhattisgarh and I'll get to play the red ball cricket as well because as a professional cricketer, you feel like playing the first test cricket, you get a reality check there to where exactly you stand in red ball cricket as well. It was difficult. I won't say it wasn't difficult. It was emotionally more difficult rather than anything else. But end of the day, everything went well. Yeah, so like it was quite normal because we have had enough practice sessions, practice matches, match simulations where we have got these targets like four overs made to chase 50, 60 odd runs. So we were quite confident because we were complementing each other very well. We were, we had a self-belief plus a belief on each other. Like obviously, Ashu was telling Shashank Bhai, Aap rahoge, to kar doge. Usko yehi bol tha ki, if you stay till the end, you can do it. So the self-belief, the way we were complementing each other, somewhere, somewhat, we knew that if we both stand till the last over, we are going to finish it with for the team. And uh, we have done it before in the practice games. I know the scenarios are different. The pressure situation is different. But end of the day, it's about believing each other, believing in the team member. And we believed each, each other. Yeah, so uh, like obviously, I, whenever I, have a I had a chat with uh, Mahi Bhai, he always told me to take the game as deep as possible. Because when, uh, when you play at the deep, the pressure is equal on like on the bowler as well as on the batsman. It's about who keeps the nerves calm. So I, I when I went went to bat also, I felt like if I take the game uh, game till the end, I can take it I take it as deep as possible. I can finish the game for the team. So it's all about the mental thing to stay as calm as possible. I was trying to do the deep, deep breathing and stuff to just to keep myself calm and to react on the ball, just to react, uh, not to play any stupid shot. Because sometimes what happens, you try to be over smart and play some rash shots. So I was just trying to react to the ball. And luckily, by God's grace, things went well. Ji, so I said that I am the best, so when you go to batting, you have to believe in yourself that you are the best batsman in the world. Anyone is saying that he is a club or a Ranjit Trophy. 
करो आपको बिलीव करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अगर मैंने ये बिलीव किया कि वो मुझसे अच्छा है तो मेंटली वो मुझे खा जाएगा वहां पे उस दिन तो मैंने वो हमेशा से बिलीव रखा है कि जब मैं बैटिंग करने जाता हूँ तो मुझे बिलीव रहता है कि मैं इस ग्राउंड में जितने लोग हैं उसमें बेस्ट हूँ मैं एंड मैं खत्म कर सकता हूँ गेम तो वो बिलीफ है और वो बिलीफ विद टाइम आया है खेल खेल के आया है बिकॉज बॉम्बे में इतने साल खेला छत्तीसगढ़ में इतने साल खेला डिफरेंट सिचुएशन में खेला इससे एडवर्स कंडीशन में खेला तो वो बिलीफ वहाँ से आया कि नहीं मेरे में अबिलिटी है मैं कैपेबिलिटी है कि हाइस्ट लेवल में खेल सकता हूँ बात कई ऑप्शन की तो आई मीन वो तो बहुत नॉर्मल एक चीज थी कभी लगा ही नहीं कि ऐसा कुछ प्रॉब्लम हुआ था बिकॉज नेक्स्ट डे ही संजय सर का फोन आया उन्होंने कहा था हमेशा से मैं उनके लिस्ट में था और जैसे हम पंजाब का ट्रेंड जानते हैं लास्ट पंद्रह साल से कि हमेशा उन्होंने डोमेस्टिक टैलेंट को लिया है टीम में और उन्हें चांस दिया है तो ये साल भी हमारे टीम में देखोगे की सात से आठ डोमेस्टिक टैलेंट जो डोमेस्टिक में अच्छा किया है उन्हें रिवॉर्ड मिले तो कभी कुछ टेंशन की बात ही नहीं थी हमारे ना ड्रेसिंग रूम में ना मैनेजमेंट में ना मेरे साथ तो बहुत ही चिल इन्वायरमेंट था वो तो when i played for bombay you know the struggles in bombay like you have to take a local train all the way from your place to the ground so all those things does matter when you go on the ground you just feel like performing just perform because all the struggles which you have done over the period of year you just want to perform there so when i was playing white ball cricket also and in bombay you know it's a mecca of cricket so playing for dwa patel for years you have to score that many runs of runs to get in the bombay side because getting in the bombay side is a very difficult thing especially for someone who is a middle order batsman because you see bombay's middle order since last 10 12 years like the players which are playing for bombay are doing extremely well like you see in indian team also surya shreyas prithvi sarfraz everyone and uh, that was tough but the only thing was the self belief that you have to believe in yourself that you are capable enough to uh, be among them you are among them and you are the best so that self belief was always there in bombay like th- those things came from bombay to me because initially when i was in mp obviously i always thought in mp that i was the best and there was no competition because the mp cricket that time wasn't that strong now in today in today's cricket it, it is very strong but when i played 15 17 it wasn't strong and i when i moved from mp to bombay i got a reality check where exactly i stand and how much i need to work hard because that was very important that was an eye opener for me because when i saw talents like siddesh lal at surya kumar yadav they were fabulous like when i saw them batting i was like i was no way near them but i really worked hard with my coach with the pratkar is no more now i worked with abhi kurbela he was with diva patel i am still with diva patel so all those things does matter a lot to me so yeah it it, it was something which uh, which came from bombay and regarding my calmness again it came with time because with time i realized that the calmer i'll be i, I can perform well on the field and uh, that has really changed me as a person as well apart from cricket personally also so uh, when in room or when not playing cricket i try to be as calm as possible because when you are calm you can think uh, you can think very relax in a relaxed manner ji srs mein bhi tha to wahan wahan bhi mahol bahut acha tha mujhe chances wahan bhi mile the wahan bhi maine 10 matches khele the paanch mein batting nahi aaya tha because hamara top order finish kar raha tha और बाकी पास से बैटिंग आया काफी सारी लर्निंग्स मिले मुझे ब्रांड लाल सर सर कोच थे वहाँ पे बैटिंग कोच थे हमारे और सब जानते हैं वो कितने बड़े लेजेंड हैं उन्होंने मेरे पे बहुत वर्क किया है उन्हें मेरी बैटिंग ही बहुत पसंद थी तो बहुत सारी अच्छी चीज हुई है वहाँ पे सेम विथ पंजाब किंग्स लाइक इतने वेलकमिंग थे यहाँ पे ओनर्स मैनेजमेंट हमारा कोचिंग स्टाफ की जो हमारे कैंप्स लगे उन्होंने जो वर्क किया और जो पहले मैच में चांस दिया बिकॉज किसी भी डोमेस्टिक प्लेयर को फर्स्ट मैच से चांस देना एक बहुत बड़ी बात होती है और उन्होंने जो बिलीव दिखाया है स्पेशली शिकी पा और द कोचिंग स्टाफ ने कि भाई तेरे में अबिलिटी है हम तुझे बैक करेंगे बिकॉज अगर कोई किसी को ऐसा बोल दे कि हम तुझे बैक करेंगे जाके सिर्फ एक्सप्रेस कर अपने आप को तो बहुत बड़ी बात होती है एक जो बहुत बड़ा बर्डन होता है परफॉर्मेंस का प्रेशर वो चले जाता है तो ये इस टीम में चीज़ है कि वो परफॉर्मेंस का प्रेशर कभी है ही नहीं पहले मैच में जीरो पे आउट हुआ था बट मुझे प्रेशर बिल्कुल दिया ही नहीं नेक्स्ट मैच नेक्स्ट मैच के पहले भी शिखर शिखर भाई ने बोला कि हम तुझे बैक करने वाले हैं संजय सर ने बोला कि डोंट वरी विल बैक यू टिल द एंड तो बहुत बड़ी बात थी मेरे लिए कि इतना फेथ दिखा रहे हैं मुझे तो मेरे में भी वो बिलीफ आते गए आते गया कि नहीं आई डिजर्व एट दिस लेवल एंड आई डू वेल एट दिस लेवल तो वो एक बहुत अच्छी चीज थी Sir, it feels really good because obviously when you finish games and you finish games on the winning side, it feels good because the match I scored uh, eight balls twenty or against RCB, we couldn't win that match. We lost by a small margin. So obviously my contribution was there, but not on the winning cause. I scored seven balls sevens. I scored ten balls tens. I, I scored twenty nine balls sixty one. If we finish on the winning side, that is the thing which gives you the most satisfaction. So I'm extremely happy that I could able to contribute for my team on the winning side. 
and that is the only thing why you play cricket you don't play cricket for all these 50s 60s or strike rates you play cricket that you can do well for the team and you can contribute on the winning cause so that was the thing so when you get this role of batting at 6 7 obviously from ball one you need to show the intent like obviously in t20 you have to show the intent from ball one any number you bat but when you bat at 6 7 you have to be mentally very proactive because what bowlers will bowl you because you will either get 6 7 8 balls to remaining so you know what angles to use what is the pace of the wicket and you hardly have time that time so it's all about the angles and being more proactive during nets also we plan that way because we if i'm getting a finishing winning role batting at 7 i won't go and bat for 10 20 minutes i'll just make sure that i ball uh, bat for 15 20 minutes uh, 15 20 balls and i play accordingly i ask the bowlers at what fields they are setting me i make sure that they are bowling with the old balls and then i can play with the field it's more of the mental thing rather than a technical part so i plan accordingly in the next session as well हाँ जैसे एक लाइट म्यूजिक सुनना ये थोड़ा रिलैक्स रहना एक अच्छा कभी कभी क्रिकेट से रिटायर होना भी बहुत अच्छी बात है कि जैसे अभी परफॉर्मेंस हुआ नहीं हुआ वो एक पार्ट ऑफ द गेम है जो ग्राउंड पे रहना चाहिए और बेस्ट पार्ट यही है इस टीम का कि जो ग्राउंड में रहता है वो ग्राउंड में जो भी होता है हारते हैं जीतते हैं हम लोग ग्राउंड में छोड़ के हम लोग यहाँ पे एक फ्रेश स्टार्ट करते हैं और एक बहुत चिल माहौल रखते हैं इस टीम का टीम रूम में आप कभी देखोगे तो हम लोग बहुत चिल अच्छे पंजाबी गाने चलते होते हैं हम लोग क्रिकेट की बात थोड़ी बहुत करते हैं बाकी मूवीज की बात करते हैं या कोई सीरीज देखने की बात करते हैं या पर्सनल लाइफ की बात करते हैं तो वैसा इन्वायरमेंट रखेंगे तो मेंटल स्पेस बहुत अच्छा रहता है एंड आप ग्राउंड में बेटर परफॉर्म कर पाते हो तो वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है Yes, so um, obviously there was a time last year only when I couldn't be in the IPL and I was very very down and I was playing Ranji Trophy, couldn't able to concentrate there much because obviously uh, I always felt that I belong to this level and I can uh, uh, do good. I can I can I can win matches for my team. I've always believed that, but some somewhat last year when I was not there in the IPL, I I, I was uh, quite frustrated that time and uh, during that time only I felt like I think I. Sh- I should play or I should not not play. There was double mind in, in like my mind was not doing this way that way, and the Ranji Trophy was going on. But that time, my family really supported me. Like my mom, dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, they were constantly in support with me. They always believed in me. But there were times where I thought that this game is not meant for me. I was I'm not good enough. But this is a time where family does come and plays a very important role. And I'm very glad and uh, lucky. You say that my I have parents and sister who. Who keeps on supporting me? There are times at two o'clock they'll call me and uh, back me up. So yeah. And regarding the mental aspect, yes, I started doing yoga. I started visualizing. It's been a year, more than a year's time. I started doing all those things, and it's really helpful. It's it's helping me making calm and uh, being more relaxed on the field as well as off of the field. Yeah. So yeah. जी तो मतलब ऑब्वियसली जब आप इतना मैं वही बोला जब आप सोचते हो चीजें कि आप करोगे ये चीजें और रियलिटी में होती है तो वो इमोशन अलग ही जाते हैं तो मेरा बस वही था कि थैंक्स फॉर द बिलीव वो वो इसके लिए था कि आपने जो बिलीव शो किया वो क्योंकि ये टीम में इट्स ऑल अबाउट बिलीव हम लोग एक दूसरे इतना बिलीव करते हैं कि जिसकी हद ही नहीं है तो वो सब यही बस दर्शा रहा था मैं कि थैंक यू संजय सर थैंक यू कोच थैंक यू शिखर भाई थैंक यू एवरीवन की जो बिलीव शो किया तुम लोगों ने मेरे पे मैच वन से मुझे अपॉर्चुनिटी दी और मैं आज तुम सबको सही प्रूफ कर पा रहा हूँ बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली इट वाज अ बिग थिंग फॉर मी दैट आई हैव प्रूव्ड राइट माई सेल्फ मैंने अपने आपको सही प्रूफ किया बट साथ ही साथ जब मैंने दूसरों को सही प्रूफ किया तो वो मेरे लिए ज्यादा बड़ी जीत थी तो उसी की खुशी थी बस तो इमोशन पूरे वही बोल रहे थे कि थैंक यू बिलीव करने के लिए मेरे पे